I wanted to learn more about electronics and uh, microcontrollers and stuff, so I bought this off the internet. It is the Vilros Arduino Uno Ultimate Starter Kit. And I probably overpaid for it, considering what it is, but I don't care. So inside, we have this, the Ultimate Starter Kit Guide, uh, which is a bunch of uh, projects and instructions on how to get started with all the things inside the kit. It comes with an Arduino Uno, which is of course the main part of it. Here we are. In right. uh, here is, I believe, a motor, a servo, I think a button of some sort. Uh, we've got a bunch of jumper wires for a breadboard and the breadboard itself. A USB to USB Type B cable. A bunch of LEDs, uh, battery adapters, a couple of resistors. Um, what else is this? Actually, yeah, those are the resistors. There is a potentiometer in there. I think a couple buttons, a photoresistor, and just a whole bunch of different components to use with the Arduino. Uh, and then this is the bottom base that you place the breadboard into on this side and the Arduino here and it just serves as a uh, I guess a little holder for your projects and yeah and that's pretty much it there's screws on the back here so you can screw the Arduino down to the board but uh, that's pretty much everything so I figured uh, since I have it the book has some uh, beginner projects and stuff that shows you uh, basically how to get started with the Arduino so I figured I might as well go through those projects and then uh, film what I do just because so it might be fun let's see what happens alright step one of course is to put the Arduino and the breadboard on the base so might as well open this up Screws are taped to the back here. This film comes off, and there we go. So the Arduino just goes right here somehow. There we are. Just stands right there, and then you put screws in. It's only got two screws, okay. Two screws and four holes. So I have to make that work. And then the breadboard, I guess, just kind of snaps into place, or no, it just sits there. Okay. All right, so I'll screw this down real quick. There, that's good enough. Okay. Uh, so after that, I got to go get my computer. Hook the Arduino up, install the drivers, and uh, get the software and stuff. So I'll take care of that and get started on the first project. Okay, I've got the uh, Arduino IDE software installed. So I'm going to open that for the first time. Make sure it's running okay. There we go. Alright, so this is the Arduino IDE software. Uh, let's check um, the serial ports. So the only one listed at the moment is COM3. So I have a feeling the Arduino will not be COM3. So all that's left is to just plug in the USB cable and power it up. Hopefully my computer will recognize that it's there. So, uh, let's plug this in. See what happens. There we are. I'm getting a green light. Installing driver software. All 
And in a moment, it should recognize the Arduino drivers. Okay, there we go. So after unplugging it and replugging it back in, it finally automatically found the Arduino. So it's here in the device manager. So uh, if I go to port, okay, no, COM3, there we go, okay, so how about COM4, that's the one I want. Okay, so now we've selected the Arduino and get board info, perfect, I'm going to cut that out. Okay, so the Arduino is properly connected to the computer now. Uh, so let's, I guess, start on the first project. Alright, so here is the first project that I'll be doing. It's a simple blinking in LED project, which I just pulled up the code for. But essentially, I'm going to be hooking an LED into the Arduino and just making it blink. So, uh, here goes that. So, for this project, I need three wires. I need a red, a black, and a green wire. And then I need one LED and one resistor. Alright, so, uh, let's see. First thing we need to do is connect the uh, 5 volt and the ground to the power and ground rails on the breadboard. So let's start with that. Now the uh, book, the picture in the book, has the uh, entire assembly turned around in the opposite direction, so I'm just going to flip this around to match. There we are. Much better. It's kind of diagonal, but you get the point. Alright. So anyway, we connect the 5 volt in the ground to the power and ground rails on the breadboard. So we use the uh, red jumper in 5 volt. There we are. Connect that there. And the black jumper to ground. Alright, so we are now wired into the breadboard. So we're going to be using pin 13. So effectively what we want to do is connect the green wire to the positive on the LED and the resistor to the negative on the LED and then the other end of the resistor to the ground on the board. The breadboard's upside down. I'm going to flip it over because it's arranged differently on the picture. Just to match, let's flip this around real quick. There we are. So this jumper in that positive, and this jumper in that negative. Okay, so now we take the LED and it's going to go in C2, which is here, and we just plug that right in there, just like that. All right. So the negative goes out to the resistor, which should be on number three. Mm -hmm. So this comes out of here, and then goes into the negative rail. There we are. And then the green wire should just go to the positive rail on the uh, LED. So this should go right here. And there we are. The LED's blinking. <laughs> Let's turn this off so you can see it a bit better. 
Alright, so that is the blink program coming from the Arduino. And it blinks the uh, LED here on the board at the same time as the LED here on the breadboard. And we are officially getting a signal off pin 13. So that is it for our first project. I didn't have to do any uploading of any code this time because that's the default one that comes with it. But uh, this is basically what it's going to be like. <laughs> This is more complicated from here. So uh, in the next video, I'm going to try the second uh, example, and we'll see how that works. Thanks for watching. Just as a quick side thing, I was kind of wondering. I just wanted to see what it would look like if I used some of the uh, other LEDs that I have instead of these yellow ones that came with the kit. Uh, I've got a bunch of random LEDs that I got a while ago, but I've never actually done anything with. So I just wanted to see what they look like when they're plugged in and blinking. There we are. Nice green light. Now oh, that's much brighter. Looks nice. Cool. And these are the uh, same LEDs that I put, or they were the, the same LEDs that I was going to put inside of my uh, Logitech G15. I ended up buying some different ones. Uh, to go inside because I didn't have enough of this particular one, but this is pretty much the same kind that I was going to put in there. Cool. So that's green. Uh, what else have I got? I wish the breadboard actually was screwed down to the base here as well. I don't like the fact that it moves around. By the way, I am really stupid. Uh, the breadboard actually does attach to the base. If I had bothered to read, uh, this here is a sticky back, and the breadboard just sticks right down, just like that. Uh, I'm not going to bother taking the back off just yet. Maybe I will stick it down since I have other breadboards, but for now, I'll just leave it as it is. Let's see. I've got a much larger green LED. Let's see what that looks like. There we go. Putting power into that one. It's much bigger. Cool. Now, I'm kind of wondering, uh, there is nothing currently going into the uh, 5 volt power rail on the breadboard, so what happens if I pull out the jumper here? Nothing. So it looks like I'm getting power from the Arduino on pin 13. And I don't actually need the red jumper at all. Interesting. Huh. Alright. And what happens if I remove the black one? It goes off. Okay. Of course. So I'm getting a circuit, but I don't know why it actually told me to use the red jumper, because I don't need it. Oh, whatever. Here's yet another green LED that I've got. This one is a flat top LED, which I was originally trying to buy several of this kind uh, to go inside of my G15 because it actually had flat tops to begin with. Not bad. The green coming from this is slightly different, which is interesting, I think, but it still looks good. So here's the pack of a whole bunch of LEDs that I bought a long time ago to put some inside of my Logitech G15. I had to buy a big old multicolor pack because um, I needed a particular amount of green LEDs. And this had exactly the amount I needed plus all of these other colors. So let's just take a look at what they look like uh, when connected. So this is a white LED. Go ahead and plug that in. There we are. That definitely doesn't look white to me. More of a blue. Or purplish, if anything. I mean, I guess I could see how it may be a cool white, but that's definitely blue. Oh, no wonder, that's purple that I just pulled out of the bag. These aren't the white LEDs. So yes, that was the purple. There we are. Nice bright white. Here is yellow. 
And finally, here is red. Okay, so that is all of the colors of the uh, LEDs that I got. I just wanted to see what the other ones look like uh, in place of the big old yellow one that actually came with the kit. So that was just, um, I wanted to see what it looked like. So in the next video, I'll start on the next project. So once again, thanks for watching.